This is question number 218 from chapter 1 of JB Gupta's book and the question goes like this. For the two port network shown in the figure, what is the value of H12 parameter? So we have been given a circuit and we are being asked to find the value of H12 parameter. So uh, let me first write the formula for H12. So let us first use this and try to write what H parameters look like. So here the dependent variables are V1 and I2 and here V1 is here we will have I1, here we will have V2, here we will have I1, here we will have V2 and here it will be H11 plus H12 V2. This will be H21 I1 plus H22 V2. So these are the H parameters and here we have, uh, we have been asked to find this parameter H12. So this H12 will be equal to I2 divided by I1. So first let us try to find the value of I2. So here the current I2 is the short circuit current and uh, it can be found by using current division rule. So if if you want to apply the current division rule, we will have to assume that we have got a voltage source here. Let us call it as V1. So here we will have V1 and the total current is going to be V1 divided by this total resistance. Here if you see the total resistance is 1 plus 6 parallel 4. Now this is the total current but what we want we want the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm now we will have to apply the current division rule and from current division rule we know this total current will be multiplied with the admittance 1 by 6 divided by sum of admittances 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 now this is the value of i2 now we will uh, now we will have to find the value of i1 the value of this i1 is the current that is flowing through the source so it is going to be V1 divided by 1 plus 6 parallel 4. Now this value, this value, because both of them are equal, they will cancel out each other. They will cancel each other out. And we will be left with 1 by 6, which can be written. See, while analyzing two port networks, we know we will consider both the currents to be entering. right? But here we have said that this is the I2. But the actual formula here, this formula is based on the assumption that the current is entering inside. So we will have to take a minus sign here. So it will be minus 1 by 6 into 6 4s are 24 divided by 6 plus 4 10. So here 6 1s are 6 4s are. So it will be minus 4 by 10, which is equals to minus 0 0.4. So this is how we will find the value of H21. See, two port parameters seem like they are easy. But if you don't understand the formula, you can remember the formula, right? You can always remember the formula. But if you do not understand how to apply it, then you're going to get some wrongful answers. So uh, you need to be aware of that.